Hello learners, welcome to our studio of National Institute of Open Schooling. I am Arvind Singh Negi, your maths teacher and today we are going to study the topic Binomial Theorem. Students, in earlier classes we have studied about binomials like a plus b, a minus b which is having power either 2 or 3 like a plus b raised to the power 2 is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab and a plus b raised to the power 3 is equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square. When we are having higher powers like a plus b raised to the power 5, a minus b raised to the power 7, the calculations become difficult. To overcome this problem, we are having one theorem which is known as binomial theorem. In this theorem, the expansion of a plus b raised to the power n, where n is a natural number, is given by a plus b raised to the power n equal to n c 0 a raised to the power n minus 0, b raised to the power 0 plus n c 1, a raised to the power n minus 1, b raised to the power 1 plus n c 2, a raised to the power n minus 2, b raised to the power 2. The expansion will go on like this and the last term of this expansion will be n c n a raised to the power n minus n and b raised to the power n. This is the binomial expansion of a plus b raised to the power n. This theorem is known as binomial theorem and remember here n is a natural number. So, using this uh, binomial theorem we can have the expansion of any binomial which is having a natural number power the power may be small or it may be higher. Let us take an example like the question given to us is x plus 3y raised to the power 4. In place of a we are having x and in place of b we are having 3y and the power is 4 which is in place of n here. So, we have to start with first term which is 4 c 0 x raised to the power 4 minus 0 and 3 y raised to the power 0 plus 4 c 1 x raised to the power 4 minus 1 and 3 y raised to the power 1 plus 4 c 2 x raised to the power 4 minus 2 3 y raised to the power 2 and the last term is 4 c 4 x raised to the power 4 minus 4 and 3 y raised to the power 4. These all are the terms in the expansion of x plus 3 y raised to the power 4 using binomial theorem. 4 c 0 x raised to the power 4 minus 0 and 3 y raised to the power 0. On solving this we will get the value x raised to the power 4, the next term which is 4 c 1 x raised to the power 4 minus 1 and 3 y raised to the power 1. On solving these term we will get 4 into x cube into 3 y raised to the power 1. Now, the next term is 4 c 2 x raised to the power 4 minus 2 and in the multiplication we are having 3 y raised to the power 2. On solving this term we will get 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 4 minus 2 factorial multiplied by x raised to the power 2 and 3 y raised to the power 2 which is equal to 9 y square. 
Now, the next term is 4 c 3 x raised to the power 4 minus 3 3 y raised to the power 3. On solving this term, we will get 4 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 4 minus 3 factorial x raised to the power 1 into 27 y cube. Now, the last term is left. The expansion of this term is 4 c 4 x raised to the power 4 minus 4 3 y raised to the power 4. On solving this expansion, what we will get? We will get the value 81 y raised to the power 4. Finally, x plus 3 y raised to the power 4 is equal to x raised to the power 4 plus 12 x cube into y plus 54 x square into y square plus 108 x into y cube plus 81 y raised to the power 4. Let us take another example. Suppose we have to expand 102 raised to the power 4. Using normal multiplication method, the calculation will be difficult. Using binomial theorem, we can easily expand this. 102 raised to the power 4 can be written as 100 plus 2 whole raised to the power 4. Let us try to apply binomial theorem for expanding this. Here, in place of A, we are having 100. In place of B, we are having 2 and in place of n, we are given with 4. Using binomial theorem, the expansion of 100 plus 2 raised to the power 4 will be equal to 4 c 0, 100 raised to the power 4 minus 0, 2 raised to the power 0 plus 4 c 1, 100 raised to the power 4 minus 1, 2 raised to the power 1 plus 4 c 2, 100 raised to the power 4 minus 2. In the multiplication, 2 raised to the power 2 plus 4 c 3, 100 raised to the power 4 minus 3 into 2 raised to the power 3. And the last term in the expansion of this is 4 c 4, 100 raised to the power 4 minus 4 and 2 raised to the power 4. So, on summarizing all these terms, we will get the values 1 0 8 2 4 3 2 1 6 in the expansion of 1 0 2 raised to the power 4. So, learners, so far we have studied the expansion of given binomials to us using binomial theorem. So, listeners, if you have any queries regarding these topics, you can contact us. Our website is www.nios.ac.in. So, keep on watching us. Thank you and have a good day.